impossible to say. It's one huge piece of artwork with one big message about money, and you'll soon be able to see it for yourself. KMBC 9's Maria Antonia is live with the Federal Reserve Bank with a preview. Maria? Larry, we're standing by the work in progress, and you should be able to get an idea of just how huge this thing is going to be. Funny thing is, though, the message will be delivered with just six letters, only six letters, but it'll take 117 of those shipping containers to deliver that message. Anyway, you stack it, this is a complicated piece of artwork. It's really rewarding to see it. It's like I'm savoring the experience. He's the artist. He managed to round up 117 shipping containers to stand almost seven stories high and 15 containers across. The work is in progress near the Liberty Memorial at Penn Valley Memorial Hill Park. There's a big difference between the layout of an A and an I. All in place, the containers will spell out USA on one side, the message on the other side, IOU. It's the artist's social commentary. I hope it awakens some some thinking and some feelings uh, in regard to the economic situation. It's a piece of art that's probably pricey itself, the cost of the crew. It's amazing how many people are involved. They have to make sure the structure can withstand 90 mile per hour winds. There's a gate and more for security. We're required to have uh, Kansas City, Missouri police presence here 24 hours a day. And a bomb sniffing dog has to clear the containers because they're going in place next to the Federal Reserve Building. They play a big part in economic policy in the U.S., so it seemed like an appropriate location. But who's paying for his vision? Grand Arts, a privately funded nonprofit, helps artists with contemporary art projects and tells us no public money is going into this massive project, but the public can see it for free starting Friday, September 2nd. And not only does the artist sculptor want you to see it, he'd also like President Obama, Ben Bernanke, and Warren Buffett to take a look at his work. And by the way, they'll have plenty of time if you can get them to take a look at it. It'll be here till October 16th. We're in Kansas City. Back to you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Thursday, August 25th, 2011, and I'm Darko. Uh, this is my website. Well, this isn't my website. This is uh, Reuters or Reuters. Uh, the Rothschild's uh, propaganda machine. But uh, my website is ggnonline.com. That's ggnonline.com. And you can check me out on YouTube. Uh, my channel is ddarko2012. Um, also, Global Government News has a group on Facebook. You can check that out. The links with all these articles that I cover, the headlines with the links will be posted in the YouTube's video description. Um, for new listeners, I go through the economy uh, in the first video, the second video, uh, the war of terror, on terror, uh, usually Middle East and stuff like that. Um, and in the third and final video, I go into uh, Big Brother surveillance and eugenics and uh, even science and stuff like that. Okay, so we're going to start out with stocks. They dropped 1.5% and a dollar gained uh, before Bernanke goes on and says that uh, he's going to start printing more money. So the world stocks dropped and the U.S. dollar rose against the yen on Thursday as investors lowered their expectations that the Fed would signal a dramatic rescue. So it's always a rescue in a crisis. So S&P downgrade prompts $1 trillion stock. It says shareholders and U.S. listed companies can thank S&Ps for making them $1 trillion poor after the rating firm earlier this month lowered the grade on Treasury securities for the first time to uh, double A plus from triple A. Now, uh, some of the most experienced investors say the stock market losses make no sense. But China stocks rise most in 10 months on bank earnings, fiscal spending. Then moving on to uh, more news, market crash could hit within weeks, warn the bankers. A more severe crash than the one triggered by the collapse of the Lehman Brothers could be on the way, according to the alarm signals of credit markers. marketers. It says here, insurance on the debt of several major European banks has now hit historic levels, uh, higher uh, even than those recorded during the financial crisis or takeover caused by the U.S. financial group's implosion nearly three years ago. So go in there and check that out. Then we have Euro breaking down, says Green, uh, Greenspan, the ex-federal chairman, so says uh, it's breaking down Europe's debt crisis, holding back the U.S. economy, so the Euro is breaking down and it says here the reason we're so sluggish is a level of uncertainty. And this is also the individual uh, 
an uncertainty, of course, for the uh, sucker investors that actually invest in this rigged market. But people like Warren Buffett and all of them, they know exactly what's going on and they know what right moves, what moves are right. Um, but this is uh, Greenspan is the individual that actually said that uh, we don't have to worry about uh, about any problems. We could just print money. So he, you know, he was he just said that last week. Uh, low rates squeeze savers and may hold back economy. Super low interest rates haven't done what they usually do after a recession. They haven't ignited economic growth or uh, revived the home market or persuaded consumers to spend freely said they though uh, they have though caused misery for retirees and others who depend on interest income such income plummeted 27 percent from 2008 to last year moving on to commodities um, right now they've kind of dipped and we have rent crude down about 30 cents trading at 110 dollars um, and then we have gas oil futures up two dollars heating oil futures up about two dollars and fifty cents nas natural gas uh, just up a tad and then moving down to agriculture we have um, basically um, uh, mixed numbers here but cocoa was down uh, significantly 27 and 61 uh, coffee only up two dollars uh, corn only up 50 cents and uh, wheat though is 10 and 13 dollars up uh, oat futures were up almost ten dollars and we're going to move down to copper. It was up almost nine dollars at eight dollars and forty-five cents, trading at four hundred and ten dollars. And gold, gold is one thousand seven hundred and seventy-five dollars. It is now up uh, seventeen dollars and seventy cents. And silver up two dollars, uh, now at forty-one dollars. Uh, gold's price tumbles five point six percent and abrupt halt to its rise. Gold's glittering rise came to an abrupt halt on Wednesday as investors piled out. The metal driving prices down 5.6%. The decline topped the $104.20 off the price of a troy ounce, pushing it down to $1,754. It marked a dramatic reversal after a week's gains. Then we have this. A wheat near two-month high on drought concern, and it rose on Thursday by a near 2% jump in Kansas City's uh, hard red winter milling wheat as drought posed a threat to seedings of the 2012 crop. Uh, also, sugar's uh, sky high, too. It says here, Kenya, change of diet is the answer to rising food price. So uh, you can go in there and check this out. Uh, but it says here that uh, as the battle rages over the rising cost of living, prices of some food stuff have remained constant. The price of rice has been constant uh, for the past five months. It says here the inflation rate has risen uh, eight months in a row to 15% last month, mainly due to the increase in food prices. Food items count for 36% of the average individual budget, according to the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics. And you can read this if uh, you want. The link will be posted. It basically goes down in there and said it's not just a buying food. It basically has to do with feed and uh, farmers. So then they just pass the costs on to the, quote, consumers. It says here EIU sees at least 40% risk of Eurozone breaking up. So it goes on there and says a chance of 40 percent for the euros and a break up and an equal chance for the global economy to go into a recession then we have home price in u.s declines 5.9 uh, percent in second quarter fhfa says then we have weekly jobless claims heading yearly north of 400,000, and it says here that uh, according to labor department the hopes have been growing uh, but not so the weekly uh, jobless claims rose by 5,000 to a reading of 417,000. And then we have employment and unemployment among youth summary. This is from the Bureau of Labor Stat uh, Statistics, and it says from April to July 2011, the number of employed youth 16 to 24 years of age rose by 1.7 million to 18 million. Wow. The U.S. Bureau of Statistics reported today. So, and uh, you can go and check that out as well. CBO uh, unemployment will remain above 8% until 2014. So, sounds like uh, some good news, right? Um, but unfortunately, uh, I've mentioned this before, uh, many listeners already are aware of this, um, but if you're not, uh, they changed the way, the government changed the way they calculate unemployment, so they don't really include people that are still unemployed but no longer collecting unemployment benefits. So the, the actual number of unemployment, when they say it's 9%, it's usually about 18%. So uh, it just just basically imagine all those people that are just barely getting by that can't find jobs they're going to uh, basically remain unemployed um, you know till 2014 those are what you call according to the elites use useless eaters and so uh, uh, trust me uh, 
there are plans in the works to take care of those useless eaters, as you will see building up uh, to 2012 and 2014. Working on jobs plan, President Obama speaks to Amex and GE and CEOs. So um, his uh, guy that he heads up this jobs uh, committee is actually an ex-GE uh, guru. He's an actual uh, worker there, a CEO. So it says here, new national debt data is growing about $3 million a minute even during his vacation. The U.S. budget deficit to hit new high. It says U.S. federal government's budget deficit will hit uh, uh, $1.28 sorry trillion for fiscal year 2011, the third largest deficit in the past 65 years, according to the CBO. Okay, um, now uh, we have, oh, let me just go back to this because there's a little bit of breaking news. It says here that Libya revolutionaries officially announced government transfer to Tripoli. So we'll see about that, though. I think uh, Gaddafi's underground right now. It says here Citigroup downgrades global GDP growth for 2011-2012. Citigroup is downgrading the global growth targets for 2011-2012 economic team. There's now see uh, the global growth says Citigroup cuts it uh, 2011 Global GDP growth forecast to 3.1% from a prior rate of 3.4. More importantly, it's cutting the global GDP growth for 2012 down to 3.2 from 3.7. So Buffett rides to uh, Bank of America's rescue with $5 billion. So there you go. He's always there. Uh, and the thing is, he makes a lot of money, and then he just kind of does stuff like that. And I'm sure he knows what he's doing, like I said. Uh, says here jp morgan may take over bank of america so now all the globalists are coming to the rescue of the uh little masonic company if you look at their symbol it's actually masonic and it has their little step uh their little stance that they stand in uh you see a lot of the uh, great uh, honorable men such as the forefathers standing uh and here we go it says here carlos slim again adds to new york times stake so mexican billionaire buys another transfer new york times company raising his stock shares and it says beetle mania feds give four states 5.8 million dollar pro uh, to protect insect habitat so how do you like that um, and then we go on greek deal won't and of course you know what this is going to be right this is going to be where they do this and then um, they, it's Connecticut River, New England, Maryland, and then they'll sell it off to private companies. They'll, they'll put big uh, uh, polluting uh, uh, buildings and infrastructure over it. Greek deal won't mean austerity for France's finance minister. And this is July 23rd. So uh, basically no austerity for France. Um, and then we go to this. France to introduce austerity measures. France is due to announce higher fiscal measures, clamping down on tax breaks as it seeks to restrain its deficit. So there you go. And that was 825. So that's why I cover these articles the way I do. So you can just see the bullshit as it unfolds. Mark is on edge for key Bernanke speech. And um, we have here U.S. asked uh, UN to unfreeze 1.5 billion Libyan assets. So they want to unfreeze them and send it to the people. Germany urges the UN to free the Libyan uh, assets. And then we have South Africa cautious on releasing Libyan assets because why? Well, the first reason is the UN itself has not recognized the NTC, the Transitional Council, as the new government of Libya, and therefore you cannot ask the UN committee to release funds to a structure that is not recognized. Secondly, the African Union has not pronounced uh, on this, so there is no recognition from the UN and there's no recognition from the AU. And uh, moving on here, Chinese oil giant ends up ends ops in Libya and Syria says report because of political instability. Then U.S. distances itself and NATO from Gaddafi manhunt. And is that true? NATO forces helping rebels in hunt for Gaddafi. So there you go. That's right. Libya secret role played by Britain creating path to fall of Tripoli. I wonder why. Okay, here we go. SAS troops dressed in Arab clothes, clothes join hunt for Gaddafi as one million dollar reward is offered for dictator's head just like uh, Saddam oil companies prepare for post Gaddafi Libya you're right they are UK oil company forced to defend links in Syria to Assad's cousin over oil but analysis investors I promise pitfalls in post Gaddafi Libya then we have bonanza likely for investors in post Gaddafi Libya Korea foresees jackpot in Libya after Gaddafi the post Gaddafi boom in Libya foreign bankers see a coming bonanza oil explorers plot a return to Libya with Gaddafi's reign almost to an end 
The U.S. may snap up Qaddafi's missiles in Mali black market to soak up the supply in any lobbies to keep oil dominance. That's an Italian company in Libya. After Qaddafi leaves, Russia firms uh, seen shut out of uh, Libya post-Qaddafi world, and China hoping to play active role in Libya's future. Man sells soil from Ohio killer's home. And as the Arctic Sea routes open as ice melts, U.S. uses global warming to lay claim to 200,000 square miles of Arctic waters. This is GGN. I'm Darko. Thank you.